Hello friends, how do you do? My name is Nixon and this is lesson number five in the series of playing like Jimi Hendrix, Steve Rayvan, John Mayer, John Frusciante, and so on. The list goes on. So <clears throat> in this lesson, now things are going to get uh, started and we are going to make this very interesting. So the last lesson, um, we learned about um, uh, introducing the thumb. And now we are going to introduce the pinky or the little finger because uh, this is the first time now we are starting to learn. So the same as for last uh, lesson. And now the major important thing with uh, this kind of playing is playing rhythm and lead at the same time. In which, as I said before, it is uh, nice if you know how to play uh, this major chord using this shape. So. In these examples, in these examples, I'm going to give you uh, several of them. So this first example, I'm here. I'm playing the G chord. So I'm going to play my pinky on the the first string, the second, and the third. So my pinky is going to be moving right here and here. And when you are starting to play this time, you will face some difficulties uh, pressing this little finger to this uh, ring finger because you will be seeing like uh, the space is not enough here because uh, normally um, you don't fret like this. So that is an exercise that you should be aware of that you will be tackling that one. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to play on the third uh, fret first string and I'm going to hammer on hammer on and a pull off so hammer on and a pull off on the second string as well then I'm going to do that on the third string but uh, I must hold this note so that I'm playing the chord because we play like this so on this third fret I'm going to also, you can play that as an example. So that would be an example too, using the, the ring finger while we are holding everything here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the chord. This time I'm only muting the A string. All other notes are ringing. Make sure that first string is ringing. So I'm going to play. I'm on. So the the difficult part is the first string, especially if we are just starting out with uh, making the bar with this one. So you hear like this. So that one should press this one a little harder and maybe even flatter. That's one second. Second is normally easy. third so once you are done with that one uh, play uh, now the, 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 the chords so I play the G chord if you are facing a little difficulty you may just uh, start playing the, the second and the, the third string just for reference once you get used to you can add the literal uh, the first string as well so let us do that example To, to F, back to G, C. Like that. So, a uh, second example is the same, but now you play first the chord and then you play that ex same exercise, but now use the, the ring finger. And this you can use as an exercise just before you get started with the pinky so that you just get the idea how it should sound. So So what I'm doing basically, I'm playing the second string the third one having these two fingers there 
make sure when you play the 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 chord you are using all all fingers so play the chord first then release the ring finger then play that one it is a little difficult because I'm already used to playing using the, the ring finger and hammer on using the, the, the small finger. So once you are done with that, I just do another exercise. So this one, I'm playing using the, the ring. I just play the third string. I'm hammer on, then play the chord. So C, third then play open then play the chord then play that hammer on again so there are a lot of combination that you can do together so maybe I'll start with C F maybe C again You can already see that it is still it is starting to sound like music more musical than compared to just playing chords it sounds nice but if you add these little embellishments or coloring to the chords starts to sound more interesting and we are going towards uh, Jimi Hendrix so like I said the most difficult is the pinky and with this type of playing the pinky will be used now and then and every time you play and so it is important so now I'm, I'm playing using the pinky but the same exercise So do that exercise, try to alternate between these two fingers. The best way is to use the, the pinky, which is the aim of this example and the aim of this lesson. And once you are done with that, uh, try to use the, the, the ring, but make sure that once you, once you play the chord, the ring is, or, is also playing. So play first, then embellish. And this one applies for all the chords. This is just an, an example from the beginning so that someone will follow. But you can play any other chords if you are playing A for example. Let us say you play A, then D, then A, maybe E. Just one for five in the key of E. So you play A, then D up here on the 10th fret it is a little bit uh, difficult with the acoustic especially like mine you no know, cutaway so my hand is already tied up here so hey come on so and the E is on the, all the way here so I can't play my E but if you have an electric uh, you can play well. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to play E, but I'm going to use the, the A major shape. So that will sound something like this. 